So this is the quick and dirty guide to ebook formatting part two. So what we've done already is we've taken our manuscript from a, a word processing document and we put it into a, a text editor. I personally like to use Notepad++, but feel free to use whatever one you want. So uh, we did a cut and paste job, and this is kind of what we come out with. Uh, you'll notice that all the, uh, the formatting and everything else got stripped. That's good. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Now, um, depending on uh, what you use, you may find uh, that, you know, like right here, I had a, a, a tab here. Uh, we don't want that. So to get rid of tabs, what you do is you hit Control-H, and then you find uh, this is called um, regular expressions. I don't know how these things work. Don't worry about it. But you find uh, a slash T. And you're going to want to just replace it with a null uh, character. So just an empty thing there. So you find it. Uh, replace, replace, replace. And you're basically just taking out all the tabs. You don't want any tabs in there. Uh, the next thing you want to do uh, you may notice that uh, some lines, they, they have a couple spaces after the period. See how that works over here? Yeah, we don't want that. So uh, what you can do in Notepad++, it's got this real neat feature. You go Edit, then Blank Operations, and then Trim, Leading, and Trailing Space. And what that'll do, that'll push uh, Delete all spaces before the end of uh, each paragraph and at the end as well. That's good. That's what we want. Uh, next thing we want to do, we want to do a little body and fender work here and kind of get everything on, on, uh, on a note. We don't want any blank lines. So uh, what you should do, you should take off every blank line. See that one, we want the, the closing uh, bold tag up there. You don't want any blank lines at all. Now that we have uh, no blank lines, what we're going to want to do is wrap a paragraph tag around each line. So the way to do that is you go uh, hit Control H, that's Find and Replace, and you want to make sure you're on regular expression. Now the regular expression we're looking for is is this this thing. I have no idea how this stuff works. I looked at it on the internet for a few hours. I couldn't make heads or tails out of this point extra stuff, but hey, it works and then uh, find this and basically what it does is it goes through each line and you're going to replace it with these p tags and what this does in my text editor it's a forward slash one and it's going to re um, replace the whole line with these uh, paragraph tags so check this out you hit replace all okay so basically what happened was every line got a paragraph tag Now it's a good idea to go check out, make sure uh, everything's uh, good to go. The paragraph tags are wrapped around each line. This is good. This is what we want. Okay. Now what we want to do, sometimes I have a bad habit of leaving double spaces after periods. It's um, something that was done many years ago. I don't know why my teachers taught it, but the way to check for that is uh, replace, and you go space, space, and replace with just one space. Let's see if I have any. Oh, I guess I did good. I don't have any. But uh, you do have to look out for that stuff. Now, what you want to do is you'll notice if you go to, um, like, a quote here. See this quote right here? This is a, a special character. It's like the, uh, the curly quotes that we talked about earlier. Now, if I typed in a quote in my text editor, it would just look like a, a straight up and down quote, not the fancy quote. And the, even the apostrophes this guy right here is fancy see that's a normal apostrophe but this is a fancy one the readers like the fancy ones so we got to uh, make sure we replace all the fancy ones with special HTML entities um, then the reason we do that is yes most browsers can read um, these individual fancy characters but you know some e-readers can't so it's a good idea to replace it with a recognized HTML entity and I'll show you how to do that um, what we do is I've got a list here. I've got this on my website. So I've got, um, you know, I've got the uh, the left side fancy quote. So I want to copy and paste that. Go to my editor, Control H, here, and then we're going to replace it with that. Um, these are like the called the HTML entities, and this is something to make sure that every web browser can read this. So I'm going to do that. 
So we'll replace all. Okay. And I'm going to go and do that for um, uh, single quotes, EM dashes, uh, uh, ellipses, and other special characters that I may have. And I'll do that right now. So now you can see I've replaced all the special characters with HTML entities to make sure that uh, any browser could read them. See, it looks kind of a, li a little bit messed up uh, just trying to read it like this, but don't worry, it'll look nice in a browser. Uh, the next thing we got to do is replace um, our italics, bold, and underline uh, tags. Um, we have to replace those with what I call the span tag. Now, the span tag um, is basically um, refers to a CSS style, which what we'll, we'll get to later. And the CSS styles, um, those are uh, really can give your your ebook formatting can kind of make you do what you want to it and to impress the the customer. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace any uh, italics tags with this span tag, and it's a span class tag which refers to a CSS style. I and uh, we'll get to the CSS styles later, but uh, that's what we want to do right here. Okay. Now on the opposite end, the slash I, we want to close that with an ending close and an ending span tag like this. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing for bolds and underlines with a similar process. Okay, now that we have our uh, span tags on where we want our bold, italics, and underline, uh, don't worry if you miss some of them. We can go back there later. Um, so we're going to take all of this, Control A, Control C, and we're going to put it into our uh, HTML document. And you'll see uh, we've got, you know, it's a standard HTML document. Uh, this is a style sheet, a CSS style sheet. And then below it, you got a an opening body and a closing body tag. Now you want to insert the manuscript right in there. There we go. Alright, so there you plop that in and you've got yourself an HTML file. Let's take a look at how it looks. You can open this in any web browser. Um, let's see here. So this is, uh, I open this this file. How does it, it looks not too bad. Not too bad. The uh, the title's all messed up. We'll get that all fixed up. And there's uh, no breaks before the chapters. But you'll see one thing that's nice about HTML. You can close it like this and open it. <coughs> and it, it, it it's like a continuous flow of text. It's really nice. That's one thing I really like about ebook readers. So you can change the fonts on this to whatever you want. You know, maybe you're half blind or something you need to read really big you know you can do pretty much anything you want with uh, with e-readers it's real nice alright so we'll go back there and uh, we want to kinda tweak this up a bit let's take a look at our style sheet um, so on this this is uh, I got this off Guido Hankel's website it basically just resets everything on the person's e-reader so you don't have screwy margins and things like that now, um, this th first one is P. This is the default style that the person will read on their e-reader. So the only thing I have is like an indentation of 1.25 EM. 1 EM is like um, a standard width uh, based on the person's font size. It's called a relative size. So it's relative to the font that the reader chooses. So we want to use these because it doesn't particularly mess with someone's font and what they want to do. So I use uh, first line indents, so that's why I just have uh, a text indent. Now, if you want to have a block paragraph style, say you're writing like a nonfiction piece, you would have a zero text indent, and then you would have some kind of a margin at the bottom, probably like 1 EM or something. And uh, I like to use these, uh, this type of style whenever I'm talking, you know, author notes, um, facts and figures, things like that, but not for the actual uh, content of the uh, novella. Now here's my other style. This is for the, the front matter. Um, it's basically the same as the, the notes, but I use text align center. That will uh, automatically center the text. The title. Now font size, I bumped it up to 2, two EM, so it's twice as big as normal. I made it bold, font weight bold, and I put margins around the tops and bottoms to kind of give it a little space there. That's real nice. 
the headline is going to be similar to the title. Now, the headline, that's what I like to use for, like, you know, when I want to emphasize, you know, author notes, excerpts, whatever else, you know, so stuff in the back, things like that. Chapter, obviously, that's for the each chapter, and that's a, a kind of a similar style. And, you know, please, you know, please feel free to copy my style, but um, you can always just go ahead and change that to do whatever you want. That's no, no problem. All right. Now, P-centered, this is for, like, it, when you have those, like, star, 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 and you want to have, like, a section break. This will uh, give it text line. It will align it to center. And now the span styles, these are all paragraph styles, the ones I just went through. The span ones, you should kind of think about a span style is, like, if you want like, you know, uh, two words of text to be bold or italicized or whatever, but you don't want the whole thing, um, you don't want the whole paragraph bold or italicized. So you can add these little, uh, these, these span elements. That's real nice. So I, I made my own span elements just for italic, bold, and underline. Now, um, you can, the HTML has language to make things bold, italic, and underline, but... I'm using these span elements because it, it meets the like X HTML standard. I don't know. This, apparently, there's a difference between X HTML and HTML standards. You know, a bunch of nerds from MIT got in a wedgie fight or something. I, I don't know, but it, you know, it's what we got to do. You know, we didn't make this world, but we got to live in it, right? So, um, what I'm going to do is like for America goes on. You know, I'm going to use my uh, my my title. I want to use my uh, my my title style. So how do I do that? So it says P, but we just all we need to do is just add a class equals title. There we go. So that'll make a America Goes On special. See, you look at it here. See, we got it. We got up here. It's just kind of in the the standard, like uh, you know, you know, uh, first line indent type paragraph. But watch this. So I added class equals title. I'm going to save that. I'm going to refresh my browser with F5. Check that out. Pretty cool, huh? And you can do that, you know, mess around with different styles and things like that. And I'm going to mess around a bit, and I'll get back with you guys.